This is meteorologist Jay Martin, and we of course are watching some storms that are pushing through our area currently, and we're taking a look right now. I'll just kind of zoom in, seeing a lot is off towards Gonzales. They are under a uh, flash flood warning. Let's watch that pop up till 9 p.m. tonight, because you can see that storm has just kind of been sitting over them for the past few hours actually producing quite a bit of rain some lightning starting to die down you can see it's starting to break apart as well it's kind of staying in that one unique storm aspect and we got some rain light rain here over Baton Rouge some heavier rain for a few spots further south and south um, east close towards Gonzales they definitely got a lot Donaldsville getting hit again with another rain chances north of Baton Rouge Baker seeing another strong storm with quite a bit of lightning and you kind of zoom back out, we just track further south to Thibodeau, Homa. They're getting hit with some strong storms as well with quite a bit of lightning. Now, the thing with these, we did have a few that were producing the um, severe thunderstorm uh, capabilities, which was strong winds, a good amount of hail. And currently, we're not seeing that. It's just producing a lot of rain. So those areas that you guys know that usually flood from uh, either some rain or a lot of rain you'll want to watch out for those roadways and other places because through the next uh, couple of days we're going to be watching to see and let's take a look right now uh, towards Baton Rouge we're seeing it's 74 everyone's going to be cooling off when they see these storms kind of come through which is going to be nice and we see there are some spots for some rain and some cloud is breaking out to get some sunshine so that's what it's looking like for the rest of the evening, drying out slowly for our rain chances. Currently, you can see a wide range of temperatures because of those showers and storms. We're hitting 74 here in Baton Rouge, 73 towards Gonzales. We're seeing some 90s towards New Roads. They haven't cooled down much and same out towards Lafayette where they haven't seen any showers or storms yet, but they're still in the upper 80s. So it definitely feels warmer for them, us here. It actually does feel like the mid 70s, which is nice, even though our humidity is on the higher side. As we go into the rest of the evening, we're slowly going to see a break from rain in the overnight hours, but then we get into 3 to 4 a.m., we're having another chance of some showers and storms that are going to start out Sunday. So let's jump into the timing of all of that. So tonight, we'll still see one or two kind of coming through, but it's going to be giving us a break overnight. We're going to take a look at that. So break from rain chances going into our over into the evening and a little bit into overnight then we take a look at tomorrow already taking consideration that our temperatures are going to be cooler in the mid 80s because we're going to see some rain chances early and then we're going to see some rain chances coming back so right now most of our saturday evening in overnight is going to be mostly dry but looking at sunday at 4 a.m we're seeing another round of some strong storms these are just strong storms we do have a marginal risk but we're seeing a lot of it is just staying under that severe thunderstorm warning criteria which is good but it's still going to be producing quite a bit of rain especially since we're not going to dry up from the rain we're seeing currently as we go into Sunday morning then we get a little bit of a break from it by the afternoon and then we see another round of some storms coming coming in from the south Homa and Thibodeau we're gonna have to watch for them for some flooding some stronger storms up towards Mississippi and that moves further north as we go into the rest of your Sunday as well Taking a look at 11, already starting to see another round of some heavy rainfall coming through on your Sunday into the overnight hours and then continuing into Monday. Monday morning, more scattered showers and storms, and then in the heat of the day, we see another round come through as, it, again, Gonzalez being hit with those by 4 p.m., going to kind of sit around there, and then we see Tuesday we'll get another break before another round of rain chances come in. So for the next seven days, we're looking at quite a bit of rainfall, which is good because we are in the drought, but you'll want to be careful of those roadways that you know that they flood very easily for all of us. We're seeing close to one and a half inches in Baton Rouge, a lot less rainfall further south, and we're seeing a lot of activity out towards the northern part of the state. So. At least it's not Memorial Day weekend where we're seeing all these rain chances coming through. We're getting out ahead of it, which is which is nice because Sunday it's going to be on and off. In the morning we'll see our first chance come through, break in the afternoon, back into the af uh, late afternoon and evening, seeing another chance. Same for Monday, seeing some in the morning, a break, and then during the late afternoon, early evening, and then we start to see it diminish even more going to Tuesday, Wednesday. 
and then Thursday we finally got a uh, front come through and that's going to be keeping us in those mid 80s which is nice but then the rain chances it the, that front is bringing drier air so we're seeing the rain chances move out which is nice because then Memorial Day weekend is right behind that and that will definitely be on the drier side on the cooler side than what we've seen for the past couple of days where we had some 90s will be in more in the upper 80s with uh, a little less humidity as well which is going to be nice but you're going to want to have the rain gear nearby want to be paying attention to your radar for the next couple of days because we could see some that get to severe thunderstorm warning criteria a lot of it is staying under that but does not mean we're not going to see some strong storms and of course those areas that do flood easily you want to be paying attention to those maybe add extra time to your commute to go around those wherever you're going for the next couple of days because we're seeing some good amount of rainfall but the big benefit is it is going to be cooler so we'll be watching that of course and giving you guys updates as we go through the rest of tonight the weekend and into next week